So I have the Add Minutes page just as we left it from our previous example where we had externalized this string and put it in a resource bundle. Now let's go ahead and open up our, uh, our application again and take a look at it. Usually we, we externalize things when we want to internationalize them. Let's, uh, let's do just that using an interceptor. We want to take and give ourselves some white space in our admins JSP page here and type in language and colon. I'm just going to put a simple href on here. href equals, I'm going to do question mark, language equals en. Now what this is going to do is just build a link on our page that attaches language en to the end of the URL we're currently on. And we're going to say this is English. English. And we're going to put a pipe here and just do a href equals and we'll do dollar sign language equals yes for Spanish. Let's close this off and put Spanish in there. Now if we look at our page, um, which we can come out here and refresh, now we'll see English and Spanish on here. And right now they're not going to do anything. All right, so but it added the link on there. You can see it's appending that on the end of our URL. Now let's go inside of our application here. We need to do a couple of things. So right now we have our default messages dot properties. Um, we need to go ahead and create the Spanish. Uh, messages.properties. So what we're going to do is right click on source main resources and say new file and we're going to do messages es.properties. Now make sure one that you've got the right location and two that it's messages. It's got to be spelled exactly the same as the other one but with underscore ES on the end of it. Um, I've made this mistake a few times myself where I've forgotten this. Let's click finish and paste that in there. Now in here we need to put our Spanish translation. So I'm going to grab our text here, copy that, and I'm going to cheat and go out to Google and uh, Google Translate and just paste our text in there and there it is in Spanish. Who says I can't speak Spanish? Copy that. Go into our Messages ES properties and paste that translation in there and save it. So now I've got our our translated properties file. Now we need to add our interceptor. So let's go into our servlet config. I'm going to make this full screen so you can see everything. And we have our message source that we had created in our previous example just to load those resource bundles and pull that text out of resource bundles. Now we need to add two things. We need to add a bean that is just a locale resolver. And this bean is simply a um, is simply used by Spring to know which current selected locale we have. So I'm just going to call this locale resolver. And the class for this is oops, org.springframework.web.servlet.itn dot session locale resolver and we're going to set it as the default locale is English okay so that's what our our locale resolver looks like it's just this one line here and uh, that just says that hey, uh, go ahead and look at our session for the currently selected locale that we have. Now the next thing we need to do is register an interceptor. And to register that interceptor, they actually created a nice way of doing this inside of Spring 3 that uh, they created an XML element called MVC Interceptors, a, a namespace, an element in the namespace MVC. 
And inside of this, we need to create another bean. And this bean is simply a class. And it is org.spring framework. Ah, framework dot web dot servlet dot i eighteen n dot locale change interceptor and this has a parameter associated with it and that is param name and that param name is language now you may not remember language here is the param name that we told it to tie to here. So this language here is what this is intercepting right here. All right, so those are the two pieces that we had to add to the servlet config. We had to register an interceptor and we had to set up a locale resolver so it would look and know where to look for what locale we're currently using. So now let's uh, escape back out of that. Go ahead and start our server up. Make sure you've saved all your changes. Wait for this to restart. Everything looks good there. And let's pull our page up. Exit out of that. Refresh it. There's English. There's our Spanish translation. Back to English, back to Spanish. And that's an interceptor uh, that's that's intercepting the, the language that we're passing through and binding that to our page.